Hey guys, it's me, Boog. And Dad. From Boog and Dad TV. And today, we're going to be reviewing the Build-A-Bear Gizmo. ta -da! Yes, this is Build-A-Bear's take on Gizmo. Of course, um, <clears throat> our fabulous furry friend who you can't feed after midnight. And whatever you do, don't get him wet. But he's our, uh, yeah, our friend from Gremlins. And I guess Build-A-Bear uh, must have picked up the license and decided to do a version. And, of course, uh, you may or may not know, but me and Boog are big uh, Gremlins fans. Gizmo? No. <laughs> and um, he's kind of a naughty little guy. You get, really got to keep him. You got to find a little box or something for him because, yeah, he's he's always into mischief. But uh, And then he's goes to the kitchen. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. Well, luckily, no it's, it's not midnight at the time of recording this. Right, it, exactly. Yeah, it's still daylight out. But, uh, but yeah, we wanted to give you a quick review of this to let you know uh, kind of what he looks like and, uh, you know, in case it's something you might be interested in. So, Gizmo from Build-A-Bear. So, hold on. Let's pull this down a little bit so you can kind of see him. Don't have to stare at the ceiling. So, here he is. His ears are a little a little floppy, but I guess you kind of have to keep in mind, too, with Build-A-Bear, they're making these for, for kids, first and foremost, so they're not going to be, um, yeah, you know, something most, that's really... Yeah, most, he's probably just for, like, the people, the... Like the kids and the nostalgia fans, like yeah, yeah, they're they're hoping a parent comes along who I'm sure uh, watched uh, Gremlins as a kid and was a fan and sees Gizmo and was like oh and buys it you know for their their kid their toddler. So like I said, these are not going to be um, you know something that's super realistic because generally they want them to appeal to kids. But he's pretty close, um, and I think that's all they're shooting for. Uh, I think he's he's pretty cute. Um, I'll get the one out of my room that's a little more movie accurate. And you kind of compare the two, but I wanted to show you him first. But of course, just like most of the build Bear stuff, he's super soft and fluffy. Definitely something you'd want to snuggle with. And I think that's what they go with. Um, oops, I hit, his, I hit his action box. Uh, but he feels great. Well, let's give you a shot from behind. The coloring is good. I think they got the brown and white coloring right. And generally, most of the time, they do a good job with these character-themed uh, versions. And of course, there's his little, the famous paw print. So you know some build Bear. And he does come with a custom uh, sound box. Is that right, Big? Yeah. And I'm gonna I'll be quiet here for a second and kind of just let you listen for once. Yes, yeah, to kind of what they come up with. That sounds pretty close from the movie. I think that's uh, I don't remember if that's when he was getting fed or what. I usually try to catch this movie at least once during Christmas time, but I did not get a chance to do it this year. Of course, kind of the classic little song there. I think that was four. Yeah, and we're back to the yum yums when he has a snack time. Yeah. So I think it's four, four or five different sounds. So not bad. And like I said, there he is. And at Build-A-Bear, he was, I can't remember. We, we got him in person. We didn't order him online. Uh, I think it was part of promotion. He was a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I can't remember if it was buy one, get the next one so much off or something like that. But I, I think he ended up costing us about 30 bucks. Uh, but like I said, he feels really great. He's super cute. So um we uh we brought him home to add to our collection, right, Big? Yeah. All right, you hold him and talk to him about a second. We'll get the other one, and uh, we'll kind of compare the two. Um, Dad. Yeah, that's the worst that can happen. Yeah, I think Gizmo took off behind you, so... Oh, where did he go? So, I'm back. And this one is also another version of our famous little... Are you having snacks again? He's in the kitchen. Get him. Oh, no. All right. Get up here. We're not through with your review yet. 
Come on, little guy. So, um, so yeah, so here's, uh, here's the one I think is, is based a little bit more, uh, tightly off of the movie prop. And while he's nowhere near as big as the Build-A-Bear version, I think he's a little more movie accurate. Um, what do you think, Boo? Uh, yeah, probably. So, uh, and like I said, he's got his little feet and, you know, plastic hands and the plastic ears. So, I don't... He had... His ears weren't this floppy in the movie, of course. They're more static like, like this guy's here. So, um, anyway, I'll show you kind of what he does and we'll wrap up the review because he's got... Let's see. Oh, does he still work? There he goes. So yeah, he's got a little a little animation with him. Which is kind of cool. So this is my first gizmo. And this is gizmo number two. I think he just does that into eternity <laughs> until you turn him off. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, and I don't think Gizmo was, I don't know. I don't think he was quite, he, well, this might've been close to the size he was maybe, but anyhow, um, hope you enjoyed <laughs> the Build-A-Bear Gizmo review and, uh, we will see you on the next one, folks. <laughs> Anything else to add, Boo, before we go? Nope. Okay, guys, in this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It's more awesome. Okay. <laughs> Feel very fun. <laughs> Bye.